To download Google Duo, you go into the App Store, and then you go to the search bar and type in Duo. And Google Duo pops up, and you press the button. Whoops. And download it. And then it, um, if you're downloading it for the first time, it'll ask for your uh, some identification to accept it. After you send them your phone number, they're going to send you a verification code. And it will either show up here for messages, or you'll have to just look at the um, code. So I'll tap right there. Okay. And now you can do many things. When you get on the app, it'll app look like this. And it will want you to hit I agree to a bunch of um, stuff. So you just have to keep on pressing OK until it gets everything. And then it's going to send you a text message to your, the, to your phone for the number you plug in. And so I'm going to do that right that, now. You can go search contacts and the people that don't already have it, you can send a text message and it'll send them a link to become your friend. The first thing you can do is if you swipe down, then you can take videos and pictures um, that you can like just send to people. It's not with anybody else. To start a meeting, you hit create group and then click on the people that you want to invite into the meeting. On the app, when you hit invite the people, it'll look like this. And so if the person says they don't have it, you can just press this refresh button and it will resend them the notification. And then if you look on the accepting window, it'll look like this just for them. And so that you just have to hit the check mark and they're in the meeting. When you join the meeting, it'll look like this and then people will join. And when you press this button here, it mutes you. So right now he hey, can't hear me anymore. Unfair. It is unfair. And then I'll unmute myself. The other thing you can do is you can switch your camera. So it's looking the other direction. If I press that, see now you're looking at my carpet. And the other thing you can do is if you press this white button, it'll take a picture of the, um, of, of the, like, what's happening, I guess. And then if you want to end the meeting, you press this red button and it'll just end it instantly. When you are recording, you don't want terrible video like this, so you need to have good lighting. The first step to having good lighting is you need to have a, not have a backlight and have a good, like, inside the room light. So I'm gonna turn those on really quick. As you can see now, my lighting is much better. You can see me, hi, I'm here. If you swipe up, it'll show a bunch of people in your contacts that you can click or invite. Um, I'm not gonna do it just because I don't wanna show all their numbers. When you are in the meeting, it looks like this, and then you can just see the other people. And if you want to, uh, if you have more people, then you swipe right and left to see all of them. When you increase the number of people, it just makes the boxes smaller on the thing. So you don't need to worry about like, going to other tabs and stuff. 